Hey YouTubers, got another video review for you today. Uh, if you're a prepper, a backpacker, a camper, or if you just want to be prepared for an emergency, or you know you want to keep something in your vehicle, uh, this is a video that you definitely want to watch because uh, this is Nebo Tools' best put together kit. In fact, uh, even outside of Nebo, I've yet to see a kit that comes with uh, this much stuff this great of quality and right now it's like right at half price or you know a little more than half price uh, so you definitely want to watch this video uh, this is Nebo Tools emergency kit uh, right now this thing is on sale for $98.99 uh, till it says on their website till the end of March or until supplies run out. So if you're watching this video, go ahead and, and order you one before, while they're on sale because after they go off sale, um, I would say that they'll go back up to full price, which is $179.90 something cents. So uh, I'd rather pay $99 versus $180. So, uh, But even at $180, this is a great kit. I don't think you'll find one that's uh, put together as well as this one with his, all the high quality uh, pieces that this one has in it. So stay tuned. Now the first thing that I noticed when I pulled this Nebo kit out of the box is it comes with a really nice uh, carrying bag and it's got a nice handle on it. Uh, it does not scream cheap like uh, most uh, little cheap bags like you would get uh, with certain products. Uh, this is a really nice bag. Uh, it's got some nice rubberized uh, pulls right here on each of the zippers. And it, like I said, it's got a zipper on each side. And, uh, you know, it's got everything packed into this little case. And if you're wondering how big it is, uh, I've got a little tape measure here. So it's roughly about uh, a foot long from side to side. And then uh, the height of it is roughly, if you're including the handle, I would say about nine inches. Now, as far as the thickness of the kit, uh, I would say um, probably about two and a half inches. And uh, so it's not very big, but when you see all the stuff that's packed inside of it, you're gonna be shocked. Now, I'll go ahead and let you know, Nebo Tools did an amazing job with this kit. Uh, because when I when I opened this kit up for the first time a week ago, uh, I was really shocked at, at just how that they uh, managed to get everything put in such a small package and uh, have it perfectly labeled and give you as much stuff in this kit as you would need, um, you know, if the power went out or if you needed to create a fire, or you needed some lights, or whatever, they give you a nice uh, amount of stuff for this kit. So, I'm gonna go ahead and run you through some of the, the uh, items that it, it comes with. Now, the main uh, draw for this kit for me was the solar panel. And if you look right here, it's got the, uh, the little Nebo logo, and it's got a, uh, a light on it right there so that glows whenever uh, the solar panel is getting sun and then if you look on this side it has a USB uh, outlet so this is a 10 watt solar panel and it's flexible and the way that you uh, unfold it is it's got a piece of velcro and uh, as you notice as I'm trying to do this one-handed it's got some heavy-duty grommets here right there on the corners and even down here on these corners so uh, it provides you a way to uh, hook it onto something let's say uh, you're you've got a bug out bag all you would have to do is take and run a zip tie uh, to the top of your bug out bag and while you're walking all your stuff could be charging during the day and uh, so I just think that is an amazing product to be able to to uh charge all your all your flashlights the lighter and the power and charge the power bank and everything in this kit uh with this uh 10 10 watt uh solar panel 
So I'm going to go ahead and put this aside and I'm just going to jump through it pretty quick. Uh, so, you know, um, don't take up a whole lot of time because I could literally talk on this for an hour at least because there's just so much to it. Uh, now it does come with like a little user's manual and they keep it in this little mesh pouch right in here. And then you've got this uh, plastic uh, instruction sheet that tells basically everything about the products uh, in the package here. You know, and right here, this is the uh, Slide King 500 lumen flashlight, and it has a built-in task light. And then they provide this light as well. This is the Redline Flex. And to me, I think this is the ultimate prepper's flashlight just simply because uh, it, takes the, uh, it takes a rechargeable battery. But if for some reason you don't, you don't have a way to charge it, you can put a double A battery in this uh, flashlight and it works. So it uses a rechargeable battery on the inside or it can use a double A. So I think that is just the perfect prepper flashlight because... Uh, everywhere you go, you're always going to be able to find AA batteries. And uh, next, there is the plasma lighter. So if uh, you're uh, wanting to start a fire, uh, this is, you know, a nice lighter. It's, it uses a USB uh, port to charge it. So um, uh, you, can, you can charge the lighter and the flashlights and even this power bank all from that solar panel so you know i know i'm getting a little ahead of myself i get excited because you know this uh this is just a really cool kit and uh, like i said uh they've got everything labeled on here and i've tried to put it back in place where you could uh and take everything and put it back on there because i've already removed it one time all the the little uh labeling and packaging but uh, i just wanted to show you uh, just how uh, this kit looks and what all the features it has and so anyways that is the 10,000 milliamp an hour power bank and what you do with this is you can charge your phone with it you can charge the flashlights with it you could charge uh you know a, a radios with it if you got let's say some two-way radios and they use a usb charger you can plug it right in uh, let's say you run this power bank down and you want to charge it back up well, you can use that solar panel there to charge the power bank back up. Let's say you want to charge multiple items at the same time. Let's say you want to do the uh, the flashlight and the power bank. Well, you can. You, uh, you can charge multiple items simply because right here in this kit, they have all the charging cables that you would need to charge these products all up at the same time. And... Uh, They've, they've got it rigged up to where, you know, it, it, it seems to be just a, a no-brainer type product. You know, if you if you were in an emergency situation, uh, it would be really great to have all this stuff. And so Nebo's done a great job putting this all together. Now, I've got the uh, solar panel uh, flipped up here on its side. And I've got some flashlights shining on that solar panel to simulate uh, the sun. Uh, shining on the panel and you can see uh, when the panel uh, has enough light it will turn on this little blue LED light and that lets you know that it's charging all the devices uh, that's plugged into this and I'm going to flip it over and show you uh, how everything is wired up and is charging right now. Okay, now I have uh, flipped the solar panel over where you can see that I've got the uh, cable that's provided with the uh, Nebo toolkit um, right here. And what it is, it's just a USB uh, plug that plugs in and to the directly into that solar panel. And then you've got one line that comes down and it splits off into four different directions and I've got it charging everything in this kit. Here's the Slide King flashlight, here is the uh the Redline uh flashlight, here is the 10,000 milliamp an hour uh battery pack and then right here is the uh Nebo Tools plasma lighter. So, uh just from this one 10 
watt solar panel. You can charge everything in this kit. Plus, if you wanted to take and hook your phone uh, into the power bank, you can because it has two ports right here. So uh, let's say you have an iPhone and I have a, an iPhone cable right here just to uh, show you that you could just take, plug this iPhone cable, it's USB, you could plug it right into the power bank and then plug this other end right into your phone and now you've got this whole kit charging plus it's charging your phone all from this solar panel. And you know, if you're sitting there thinking, well, I could do it this way and, and charge something else. Well, yeah, you're, you're absolutely correct. You could charge, uh, uh, all different types of, uh, of from phones to GPS units to, uh, two way radios. And, you know, you can do it in different configurations. And then they, they give you this little, uh, instruction sheet showing you how to hook everything up in different configurations. So, uh, you can, you can charge everything the way that you would, you would like. So there's plenty of different options and charging, uh, options for this kit. So, um, uh, this is just one. So just make sure you check, uh, this kit out because I definitely think, uh, anyone that looked at this kit would definitely be interested. Now that I showed you uh, all the different products that comes in this kit, I wanted to uh, run through individually and show you the different products uh, one by one. And this one here is called the Slide King. And uh, what this is, it's a flashlight and a task light. Like I said, uh, you can uh, take your fingers and push this light apart right here. And I'm trying to do this one handed, so bear with me. But once you push it apart right in here, uh, now you have a task light and this would be great, you know, if you're uh, in a tent and you want to light the, the whole campsite area up or the inside of your tent, that would be a great light for that. Uh, but it also has a flashlight and uh, it's a pretty strong one at that. Now, uh, this particular light puts out 500 lumens for two and a half hours and for and that's for the flashlight and the task light and or the work light and it puts out uh, a 40 lumen red light and the way that you uh access that red light is you just uh mash the button and now it glows just a a red color and then you hit it again now it's a flashing red uh strobe so, uh, <laughs> this thing has quite a few features. If you needed to uh, get someone's attention with this red uh, flashing light, uh, that would be one great way to do it. I know in the military, uh, a lot of times they'll use a uh, red light to read a map. Uh, my, my buddy's a Marine and that's what we were talking about that he used these over in Iraq to, uh, to read, uh, maps. Um, uh, so Anyways, uh, so as far as uh, turning the, the the little slide light off right in here, the, the work light, all you do is just push it, slide it down, and it turns itself off. But then uh, when you want to hit, turn the flashlight on, you just mash the button. And so um, uh, it's got different power settings, and, you know, there's on and off. There's a high. So anyways, uh, also it has a four times zoom. So you can control the, uh, the size of the light and you can zoom it in like that or you can flood it out. And so uh, it does put out quite a bit of light. I'll turn the light off, give you an idea. There's... Uh, on high so you you get an idea of uh, just how much light output uh, it puts out just from the regular flashlight and then I'm gonna open the task light or work light 
up and give you an idea of how much light it puts out. And you can see it lights up my whole kitchen, you know, puts out quite a bit of light. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with the light output on that. This is not some, uh, junk flashlight that's made out of plastic. This is actual, uh, anodized, uh, aircraft aluminum. So, you know, it's, uh, it's made to last. Uh, if you look here on the bottom, it's got a big uh, magnet. So if you've got a piece of steel or you're working on a car, uh, you can see uh, I've had just a piece of a, like a, a part off of a ceiling fan. And you can see just how strong that magnet is. And so, um, you know, if you're, like I said, if you're working on a car or a piece of machinery or something that's steel, uh, then that magnet comes in really handy. Another feature about this light is the uh, on and off button. As you can see, uh, the button is recessed down just a little bit uh, right here on the flashlight. And the reason they did that is so you didn't accidentally bump it and turn it on. So uh, it makes it a lot um, less prone to uh, just accidentally uh, turning it on and uh, you know running your battery down. So by them recessing that uh button in there it just made uh the light that much better it's just another safety feature for you guys at home now here on the back it's got this little uh water and dust cap that you uh press up and it pops out and that's just to keep water uh, out of that charging port right there now i'll go ahead and tell you the flashlight is not waterproof uh, you can't go diving in uh, the lake with this because it would probably short out or burn up, whatever. Uh, but you know, um, you know, if you're out and it starts raining, uh, then you should be fine. So you know, as long as you don't try to submerge this thing or just dunk it under uh, water, then you should be good. But uh, anyways, it is an impact resistant light, and uh, it's got a nice look to it. I, I do love this little red trim ring here across the top. And then it's got like a, a tactical edge on it right here. So it's, you know, it's not sharp. They've chamfered the edges to where it won't cut you. But, you know, if you had to use it to protect yourself, then, uh, you know, I'm sure that it would it would hurt somebody if uh, you had to whack them. Um, the uh, LED uh, is a long-lasting LED. I haven't had any problems out of any of the Nebo lights uh, that I've owned. And I've been really happy with them. Uh, they seem to last a long time. I haven't had one go bad. And I haven't had a battery go bad in one yet. And I, I charge these things quite often. So uh, that's just a quick rundown of the Slide King. Now the next light that I have on the list. This is the Nebo Redline Flex. And again, I think this is the, the most perfect uh, prepping uh, bug out emergency type flashlight on the market just simply because uh, it's rechargeable it uses the uh, rechargeable battery uh, on the inside right here but also uh, let's say uh, you didn't have a way to charge the battery back up let's say you got in a bind and you couldn't couldn't charge the battery up well uh, it uses also a uh, just a standard double a battery and i have one right here just a standard harbor freight cheap double a battery and i know these aren't, aren't the best batteries in the world this is just what i had laying around but uh you can see that uh, a double a fits perfectly right in there and let me get it screwed on right here and i'll turn it on for you as you can see, uh, this one here has the magnetic base as well. So, you know, if you've got something metal you're working on, uh, then that is definitely uh, a handy feature. It has a clip right here, and you can use it in two different directions. You can lift this up and stick it on a hat, or you can lift this part up right here and stick it on the opposite direction. So it can go on this way or you can push it back and, and go on that way no uh, just whichever way you'd like and 
Uh, the one feature that I love about this flashlight is when you turn it on, it's got this little nice red glow ring around the flashlight. I just think that looks cool. Now this flashlight has a six times zoom and all you have to do is just twist it uh, clockwise and it, it zooms in and you can see right here on the, on the floor, that's with the uh, pattern all nice and tight where you can zoom out and you can see that the pattern gets much wider. Now I'll go ahead and turn the lights off again to give you an idea of just how bright it is. Uh, that's, uh, that's with the, uh, the beam uh, flooded out and then here is with the beam um, focused in and you can see that it's a pretty uh, tight beam. Also, uh, this uh, flashlight has a strobe feature. So uh, that is pretty handy too if you want to disorient someone, if they're trying to attack you or whatever, uh, or trying to get somebody's attention, if you're trying to signal them, uh, that is a great feature there as well. Now, uh, this light here on turbo mode puts out 450 lumens, which is ridiculous. Now, it can only do it for 40 seconds. And the reason for uh, just a 40 seconds is simply because um, uh, it will overheat the LED in there. So after 40 seconds, uh, then it goes down to 250 lumens, which is high. And on 250 lumens, it'll run for two and a half hours on the rechargeable battery. And uh, on low, it's 80 lumens for five and a half hours on the rechargeable battery and two hours for uh, the strobe feature. Now, uh, if you're using a double A, uh, those times are gonna be uh, slightly less, uh, just simply because um, the, the double A's uh, just don't hold the juice uh, like these rechargeable uh, batteries that comes with the light. So, but you know, you're, it is able to run on that double A, so you know, you, you don't you won't never have a, a time where you can't find uh, a double a battery just because they're so plentiful so anyways so that's that's it there uh just a quick rundown on the nebo redline flex and i'm going to jump over to the the uh, nebo uh, plasma lighter now this uh nebo plasma lighter is a really cool lighter it comes in like this uh black chrome finish and uh, when you open it up, it's got a nice little blue LED light that, uh, that gives you a nice little night light. It's actually pretty bright. I'll turn the lights off. And you can see that it puts out quite a bit of blue light. So you can use it as just a night light as well. You can see that it's lighting up uh, the map that I have here on my table. And you could usually easily use this to read with. Uh, so... Uh, I think that's a pretty handy feature as well. Now, if you're not familiar with the plasma lighters, uh, this thing's pretty neat. It's uh, it's windproof, so if the wind's blowing outside, uh, it's not going to affect this lighter. It's still going to light up, and uh, you know it's rechargeable. Um, and what you do is just mash the little blue button right here on the side, and you can see those electrodes create like an X pattern right there and uh, it lights it lights uh, whatever you're trying to light up uh, and it gets hot uh, there's no doubt it gets it gets super hot it don't put out any kind of smoke or anything and it's just uh, electricity so uh, it is a pretty neat lighter now the way that you recharge it is there is a whoop about dropped it sorry about that uh, there is a charging port right here on the bottom and you just plug that in and uh, it recharges itself. Now I'm not sure how many lights you'll get out of this thing or how much usage um, you'll be able to get on one charge uh, because each each usage is different. It uses different amounts of power so it'd be impossible for me to try to test this. So anyways, uh, it's a seems to be a really cool lighter. Um, now I've got some tinder that I'm going to light up for you guys uh, to show you just how it works. So here we go. I'm going to take you outside and show you just how it works. Okay, as you guys can see, I've got the plasma lighter uh, and I've got some um, like dryer lint. 
And that's what I use uh, to start fires with, you know, if you go camping or something. And you can see that it lights that dryer lint up really quick. So, you know, if you need some good tinder to uh, take with you on a camping trip or just keep uh, in an, your emergency bag, you know, consider using dryer lint. It don't take but a second to light up. And uh, if you've got some chapstick, uh, you could rub some chapstick or Vaseline or whatever on it and that would make it burn even longer. So uh, just a quick tip for you. And uh, anyways, uh, I really like the lighter. Seems to work great. Seems to have a lot of uh, charge and you should be able to get quite a bit of usage out of it. Uh, I know I've used it and uh, my buddy's used it quite a bit. And so it seems to work um, pretty great. So I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, this is actually uh, my second plasma lighter uh, that I have. Uh, I got another one from another company and uh, it works great as well. And uh, so anyways, uh, that wraps that up on the, the plasma lighter. Um, for the most part, uh, the only other thing that I can make mention is uh, for this particular lighter, you don't need any kind of fuel. Um, there's no butane or no lighter fluid or any of that kind of stuff. You know, it just runs off uh, power from that USB. So... You know, uh, it's a lot less hassle than the most lighters. And they, and again, uh, when you light it up and when you hit the button, it looks pretty cool. Uh, that electricity glowing on the inside of there. So, you know, all right, on to the next. All right, now for the uh, power bank. This is the Nebo 10,000 milliamp an hour power bank and uh, the way that it works uh, like I showed you before is you plug in um, whatever you want to charge in this port and that port it has two output ports and then one input port so uh, this is uh, how you would charge it right here and this is where you would plug uh, yeah, let's say um, the solar panel uh, would plug into this port or, and um, you could plug in uh, a cell phone charge charger into this port I mean a cable into this port so uh, there's a bunch of different options for this and uh, you know uh, it's got a little button right here on the side and you mash that button and it tells you the uh, battery level of how much charge that it has and right here it says it has uh, 80 so it's almost fully charged and so uh, this thing is pretty slim uh, it's about the size of uh, a cell phone uh, i have a samsung galaxy s8 uh, and that's about the same size it might be just a hair wider so um you know uh, this thing doesn't weigh very much but you know 10,000 milliamp an hour is a pretty decent sized battery and you should be able to get uh maybe one to two charges uh, for your cell phone now, you know, don't send me no dirty comments saying well I didn't get that many charges in my phone. Well, and that's because uh, You know different phones have different size batteries in them. Obviously uh, 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 an uh, iPhone 6s uh, You know as small as they are they're not gonna have a very big battery compared to like a, a note or something like that So keep that in mind so now that I've showed you guys everything in the kit, I just wanted to go ahead and put everything back into the original carrying case and show you how everything fits in here nice, nicely because it has this uh, foam that is cut out around all the flashlights, the lighter, and the power bank. And you can see everything fits in there perfect and it's got little areas for your fingers to reach in there and grab everything. And then uh, this particular kit is cut out to where you can leave everything plugged up so i've got the light plugged up and you can see the charging cable runs down into here i've got the power bank plugged up and it charging cable runs down in here the plasma lighter is plugged up and you can see the charging cable runs there the the little uh red line flex is plugged plugged in and all the charging cables uh go um right in here and that's a nice little area where you can ball them all up and zip this thing up. But let's say you're out backpacking and you want all this stuff to be charging at the same time. Then what you want to do is just take and uh, run your cable uh, right over to your charger. put Flip it over and keep it in the direct sun. 
uh, keep these solar panels right in the direct sun and uh, you know uh, you can take this case and just zip it up and uh, like I showed you they have uh, two different zippers one on each side and so you just take and zip it to wherever you want the cable to come out and now now you have uh, everything charging at one time and uh, you know it just seems to work great now one thing I do want to point out is like I showed you before let's say you have an iPhone and you want to charge it uh, it would be a great idea to keep an iPhone uh, charging cable uh, just wound up and keep it in this little bitty area right in here there's enough room in there to uh, to put it right there or you've got enough room to stick it uh, up in here or right here on the uh, solar panel there's uh, a little pouch right here and you could keep a cable right in there uh, like I said a uh, while ago I, I use uh, as far as for the the lighter uh, I use dryer lint so if you wanted to take and put some dryer lint in like a little ziplock baggie um, that would be a great uh, ignition source for you to uh, be able to start a fire really easy uh, with that plasma lighter uh, with the dryer lint it, it'll it'll light right up so you know uh, that's just a couple of other little things that you could keep in here and uh, you know if there's something else that you you might need uh, in this kit if you can fit it in here uh, in these little pouch areas that I've showed you um, then it seems like there's quite a bit of extra room in there so anyways appreciate you guys watching uh, like I said make sure you check out this uh, emergency kit right now it's um, it's under a hundred dollars right now on their website while it's on sale and they said that it would be on sale to the end of March or till they run out of supplies so with this uh, coronavirus going around right now who knows uh, they're already shutting down schools and Walmart's closing at like nine o'clock they're threatening to close down all the restaurants and you know it's getting pretty strict you know I don't know if this will turn into something major or you know if this will fizzle out here in a few weeks but either way this would be a great kit to have you know in an emergency let's say you lost power or whatever or you know uh, like I said you were camping or you know just to keep in your car uh, now I'll go ahead and tell you one time I was out uh, taking a business trip and I got stuck on the highway uh, in the snow. Uh, they uh, there was a, a tractor trailer had gotten a wreck, and they closed down both directions of I-75, and so I was pretty much stranded overnight in a parking lot. And so, um, you know, if I'd have been out in the middle of nowhere, uh, not near a gas station or something, then uh, I guess it would have been really nice to have, you know, a flashlight, and it would have been nice to had. A lighter in case uh, you know I run out of fuel in my car 